When we study polynomials, we eventually get to multiple step questions. And then we want to apply the rules of bed mass, the order of operations, in order to do the operations in the right order. In this example, I have a bracket with an addition inside of it, a subtraction, another addition, and a multiplication. Bed mass tells me, do the bracket first. I try to simplify inside of the bracket, but I find that there are no similar terms. So I cannot simplify inside the bracket. What I can do is I can remove the bracket and correct the signs. So I'll do that now. I end up with 5 minus x squared y squared and minus 2. The rest of the question I just copy down. Now, I have subtraction, subtraction, addition, multiplication. The multiplication has to be done first. 3 times 2 is 6. And x squared times y squared is x squared y squared. I copy down the rest of the question. Now I have nothing but subtractions and additions and I am going to combine similar terms. With the constant terms, we have 5 minus 2, which gives us 3. With the x squared y squared, we have negative 1 x squared y squared plus 6 x squared y squared, which gives us positive 5 x squared y squared. There are no more operations that can be done, because I no longer have any similar terms, so this is the answer. Our second example is a little longer, so I erased most of the words over here. Hopefully by now you remember what the letters in bed mass stand for. Here we have a multiplication, x is being multiplied by this bracket. We have the bracket with a, an addition, a second addition inside of it. We have a subtraction and we have a binomial that is being squared. The first thing we are supposed to do in bed mass is bracket. And we will start with this leftmost bracket, and we will try to combine similar terms inside of it. Negative x plus 2x is x. We write down the plus y and close our bracket. This bracket can no longer be simplified. It's just there because we have a multiplication. And this bracket cannot be simplified inside. It's there because we have a squared binomial. The squared binomial is exponent, and it comes before multiplication in bed mass. So we're not doing this multiplication yet. We're doing the squared binomial first. I copy down this part of the question. And I like to rewrite a squared binomial, showing it as a multiplication. Now, it looks like we have a multiplication and another multiplication. And normally in bed mass, we would do the leftmost one first. But this still isn't really a multiplication. It's a squared binomial, it's an exponent. And it should be done before multiplication in bed mass, so I'm going to do it first. I like to write my squared binomial as a multiplication so I can see what I'm doing, because I like to use the FOIL to solve these. Copy down the rest of the question. And I'm going to write the answer to this multiplication inside a bracket, because I see a minus sign before it. And I know that minus sign will affect the entire answer. I'll worry about that later. I'm just going to do the multiplication now. First times first is x times x, which gives x squared. First times second is x times y, which is xy. Second times first is y times x, which is also xy. Finally, second times second is y times y, which is y squared. Now, I just have to remove the bracket and fix the signs. We have minus x squared, minus xy, 
minus xy minus y squared. Now I'm doing this multiplication. x times x is x squared. x times y is xy. I copy down the rest. It's time to combine similar terms. We have x squared minus x squared, which cancel. There are no x squared terms in the answer. We have xy minus xy, which cancel. And there's still a negative xy in the answer. And minus y squared is the only y squared term. So we write it in. Our answer is negative xy minus y squared.